All right, Homestead, our family. So the rain has stopped. It just started spinning for a bit. You can see some of the orange uh, from what I sprayed on the pigs from their cuts and wounds. And you can see that pig that was very aggressive has a lot of cuts and everything. So he's not doing that well. And uh, he's patched up. He's got the iodine and uh, anesthetic and all that stuff on him. So, uh, his foot got bit, so that's why he's staying right there. But anyhow, I went ahead, I took uh, diatomaceous earth, I took a 40 gallon bucket, and where it's heavily pooped, this was one of the big alpaca areas, and then down there was another big alpaca area, and then of course inside the little barn area, I went ahead and filled up uh, diatomaceous earth, and down here where the pigs and stuff lay, I just wanted to make sure everybody has a good coating on the ground to stop any bugs or worms or anything like that. And uh, I haven't done it for a couple months, so I figured now would be uh, a good time to get it done, especially bring in these new pigs. Uh, this is the girl pig that I just brought in, which is named Petunia. So we officially have another uh, Petunia here on the homestead and then that one I don't think had a name but it is what it is so uh, Papa Pig right there looks like he's doing good after his injuries Porky of course he's just a fat butt he only had a few uh, cuts on him not too bad Papa Pig had the medium and he had the worst so uh, depending on how he fares um, he might get called I don't know I'm hoping that he pulls through uh, so I have another set of genetics and I go from there. So it may be a stormy day, but it's a beautiful day. And this is a life on a homestead. Always has something interesting to do. Always have work to do. And sometimes dealing with uh, pain in butt pigs. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you have a good day. Say bye, Turk Turks. No, they ain't going to say goodbye.